Grubhub is known for being the original food delivery app and is also known for some pretty good payout. But does that mean you can make some good money working the Grubhub app in 2023, 19 years later? Well, let's find out how much you can really earn working Grubhub. Welcome back everyone, it is Kim from Kimside Money Plans and I'm here for the Rideshare Guide. In today's video, I'm going to break down Grubhub market share and how it can affect your earnings on Grubhub, how drivers actually get paid, how scheduling works, different program levels, and finally, you are going to want to stick around until the end because I'm going to give you some tips on how to maximize your time and earnings on Grubhub. I'm going to be honest, I have mixed feelings when it comes to Grubhub. I love that they are the one and only food delivery app that shows look, transparency, which is amazing. What you see is really what you get. I also love some of their payouts because once you get on the Grubhub and you're on a roll, it's hard to leave knowing the payout and what they're actually giving you. However, it is the slowest food delivery app, at least in my market. There could be hours in the morning or even late nights that I don't receive any orders coming into my phone for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, sometimes an hour. So speaking of the slowest apps, if they are one of the oldest apps, why are they so slow? Well, in my opinion, it has to do with how many restaurants are in your area that are on the platform versus how many customers are actually ordering from it. When you see the breakdown, Grubhub is only 9% of the market share versus Uber Eats 23% and DoorDash is whopping 65%. But how much do drivers truly get paid? It's not too clear because there's nothing on the Grubhub website that just comes out and fills it for you. This is how much a driver gets paid. However, according to Indeed, drivers make on an average $16 per hour. According to another website that I was researching, they said drivers get paid $12 to $15 per hour. My area leans more towards the $12 to $15 per hour. Grubhub drivers, what do you think your average dollar per hour is? Let me know in the comments. So now that we know how much a driver gets paid, how do we as drivers get paid? According to Grubhub, you get paid delivery pay, which is based on miles, delivery type, time spent delivery, and your local market, plus Grubhub contribution, which is when a driver earns a minimum guaranteed rate for your local market when you are on a scheduled block and not just toggling on, and you meet the acceptance rate criteria, plus 100% of the tips go to the driver, plus missions or special wall offers. All of this equals your total pay. One of the biggest debates on Grubhub, which one pays you as a driver more money? Scheduling on block or toggling just to take orders? I personally have success with both ways. The pros about block scheduling is you can get a guaranteed pay if you don't meet the minimum in your area, minus $15. But you have to maintain a 90% acceptance rate for the entire day. Plus, supposedly on block, drivers get priority orders, which can turn into a bigger dollar per hour. The cons, unless you are a Greg Hub Premier driver, it's hard to get good schedules and are usually the hours that you're least likely to work. Other con is because of the pay guarantee, you can't decline orders, which means you are at the mercy of wherever Grubhub sends you, which can be 20 plus miles because their zones are so huge. Now, toggling just to go online, the pros, you can work anytime you want with the freedom of being a true independent contractor. You make money on your own terms and you don't have to go and take orders you really just don't want to take. The con, you can go lengths of time with no orders and really make no money. 
Another way to boost your earnings on Grubhub is taking advantage of their driver recognition program. But they come at a really high cost of a high acceptance rate. The tricky thing is, and yes, I've tried to do this at the beginning of the year. Uh, in order to raise your acceptance rate, you need to be on block, which means you need to take blocks that aren't ideal schedules for you. And it is a pretty slow process, at least for me, it was. First, you have to keep up with your stats, including acceptance rate, on-time arrival rates at merchants, and schedule commitment rate, which means if you take a schedule, you have to do the schedule. But with the higher levels you allot, the more opportunities at first, access to scheduling, large catering orders, and more orders and flexibility, which can mean more money. The program levels vary. Every driver is a partner. Then there is Pro, which consists of an 80% acceptance rate. And finally, a premier driver consists of a 95% acceptance rate. Oh, even top cashier isn't that high. But if it gives you more money and a higher dollar per hour, it's just something you might want to look into as a driver. Finally, here are some tips for earning more on Grubhub. Number one, pay attention to miles versus money. Grubhub is known for long miles. Ensure the money they're offering you is worth the trip there and back because unless you are multi-apping, you might not get an order taking you back to where you began. Number two, if you can get block schedules, utilize them two ways. If you know you are working in off-peak time, if you don't meet the minimum requirement, and mine is $15 an hour, you will get paid the remaining amount that you didn't make. So you're still making money even if orders aren't coming in. But there is a catch. You really have to maintain a high acceptance rate through the entire day. Or if you have done the research in your area, block scheduling during peak times can mean some really good dollar per hour is completely market specific. Grubhub is the slowest app in my area. Sign up for other apps and continue making your money when there aren't any orders to be had. There have been several times I haven't gotten an order for hours at a time. If you are in a slow or smaller Grubhub market, don't let the app slow you down from making your money. There are other options that will keep you going. Apps that work well with Grubhub are DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart, Ship, Spark. There are probably many more. Lastly, Grubhub is known for trying to keep drivers on their platform and also known for rewarding drivers for taking more orders and having a higher acceptance rate. I personally am not a fan of this and have never tried it. But the higher the driver level, the more earning potential there might be. I know many Grubhub drivers who are premier drivers and say that it is totally worth it, even in my own market where I think it's really slow. They are making money just on Grubhub, so there might just be something to it. Overall, do I like Grubhub? Yes. Because the biggest advantage is complete transparency. I just wish it just wasn't full slow. Do I think it's a great side hustle? Yes. Is it great pairing with other apps and multi-app? Yes. Can you do this full time? In my market? No. But some markets, it might be yes. But can you make money on Grubhub? Absolutely. It just depends on how much you want to make. Hopefully, this helps you determine how much you can make on Grubhub and the earning potentials in your own market. If you're new to Grubhub, best of luck to everyone working Grubhub. Go make your money. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, make sure that that bell is turned on so you know when all the latest videos come out. Also, everybody, if you love the contents of this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll be back next week. Bye, everyone.